Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Now, in this video, I'll be talking about how to combine multiple Excel files into one single file without uploading anything to ChatGPT, without sharing any kind of Excel files or Excel data with ChatGPT, All right? So let me just explain what we're going to be doing here. So we will combine multiple Excel files into one single file using ChatGPT and or actually or uh, Copilot and a um, Python dev tool called Thony. So the steps what we will do is we will prompt chat GPT for the uh, Python code. Then we will copy and paste the Python code on our local um, on our um, Python tool which is in this case Tony and then we will review the results review the combined Excel file so, fine. all right so let's go ahead and begin first of all we want to be able to have the Excel files uh, ready so that means here you should have a folder on your Explorer on your um, on your uh, Windows Explorer that says <clears throat> Excel files and make sure you have the same exact spelling here Excel underscore files inside this file I have three different Excel files sorry inside that folder I have three different Excel files book one book two and book three each one of them has uh, two columns inside those files and um, we're gonna see what those columns are just for you guys have an idea so you have a branch and then you have a monthly revenue of about fifty thousand dollars for every single row here okay so fifty thousand eighty thousand ninety thousand and you have branch in new york orlando my so you have two columns one is called branch one is called monthly revenue it's the same for the other two files all right the the files must have the same structure so the same number of columns and the same row headings for each excel file so right so that's a key point right there all right so that's the first step the next step is we're going to write a prompt to chat gpt to give us the python code so the prompt is right here so i have multiple excel files in a folder named excel files each excel file contains two columns a branch column and a monthly revenue column i want to merge all the excel files into one single file called merged Write me a Python script for that. So I'm going to copy this prompt. The prompt is in, it's available in the description. And I'm going to go to ChatGPT. And I'm going to paste it here. And now the ChatGPT AI engine is going to do its thing. And it's going to generate the code for me to be able to write and paste it into my Python tool called Thony. Okay, so this is the code. Here it gives you some additional options. Make sure you have the pandas library installed. If you haven't installed it yet, you can do it using this. Um, place the script in the same directory as your Excel files folder and run it. The script will read all the Excel files in the Excel files folder, merge them, and save the result as merge.xls in the same directory. All right. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to copy the code. I will go to Thony. Right. Let me create here a new uh, a new file actually right here. Dot pi. Okay, I'm gonna paste the code here. I'll control S to save it to get the lecture here, and then I'm going to go ahead and uh, run the um, uh, run the script. Okay. Click here to run it. Now give me the all Excel files have been merged into merge.xls, right? 
So now I have to go and check. I simply go to my um, Excel files, the, the, the folder which I placed the script in, and there is a file right here called merged, and it's right in today's date, right? So I'm going to open it right now and see what it did. It's going to open up the file and I should be able to see the combined three different Excel files into one single file here. All right, and that's exactly what happened. All right, I have all the branches combined with the monthly revenue into one single file. If I want to confirm even further, I can go ahead and open, let's say I can open, just see here. Let me just open the um, the files. So I'm going to open book two, and I want to compare that it actually combined all the data from book two Excel file into the merged Excel file. So book two had New York, Orlando, and Miami, fifty thousand, eighty thousand, ninety thousand. Now let's go back to my merged file. New York, that's book two, New York, Orlando, and Miami, right? Let me just increase the visibility. New York, Orlando, and Miami, 50,000, 80,000, 90,000, exactly. So this is the book two. Now let me open book three. Confirm even further. That's book three, Charleston, Raleigh, Chapel Hill. Again, 50,000, 80,000, 90,000. Let me see it in the merge file. That's right, Charleston, Raleigh, Chapel Hill. 50,000, 80,000, 90. Now notice that it, it combined the three files in sequential order. So for, in book one is the first two three rows, in book two, the, the, um, in, the, in the book two Excel file, the next three rows, and book three, the, the last three rows, along with the corresponding columns, right? So this is a powerful way for you to be able to um, combine multiple files, especially if you have like 10, 20, or 30 files in your, um, in your workflows. All right, let me go ahead and I want to try this on Copilot to see what happens because a lot of you maybe have access to Copilot and we can do the exact same thing. So we will copy the prompt, right? And I'm going to go to Copilot right here and I'll paste the prompt. So now it's going to, Copilot is going to do its thing, it's going to run the AI engine and generate the Python code for me here and then I'll do the exact same thing. Um, this is useful if people, if you guys don't have access to ChatGPT because I know many companies are blocking ChatGPT for different secu security reasons and um, you can simply do it in Copilot and the good news is here you, you don't have to share any data or any Excel files with the ChatGPT or with Copilot. You can just run it directly get the code and run it directly on your PC. That way you don't sacrifice any kind of data and you don't get into the issue of sharing private data with uh, ChatGPT or with Copilot. All right, so I'll do the same thing here. I'll copy the code and then I'll go to my Thony and I'll paste the code right here and then I will run it and I should get the same result because it's almost the same code and then you can get the same uh, merge file, right? So this is a very clear and very quick way for you to be able to combine multiple Excel files into one without having to do it manually, and especially if you have like 20 or 30 or 50 files that you want to be able to combine, and you don't have to share any kind of data with ChatGPT or with Copilot, all right? Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.